Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 74-year-old female. Now, first thing I recommend is going to our website at funeralfunds.com and just on every about every page, we have these free quarters. And all you need to do is just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount, put your birthday in there, uh, fill out the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now, and it will take you to a page that's going to show you the best companies with the lowest prices based off your age, gender, and the state that you live in. And it's a terrific way to start shopping around and getting pricing. And then you can call us at 888-862-9456, and we can help you understand what you actually qualify for. Now, one of the first things we always talk with a 74-year-old female about looking for $25,000 worth of coverage is, is that going to be an appropriate amount of coverage for her burial, cremation, or final expense needs? Now, typically, again, final expense is going to be cremation or burial. Let's start with cremation. There's two options with cremation. The, the first option is when you get cremated and you just come home in a cardboard box or an urn. That's typically right now going to run around $1,000 to $2,000. Now, the other option is if you're going to have some sort of ceremony, some sort of remembrance of life or celebration of life ceremony in addition to the cremation, that's probably going to be somewhere between $3,500 to $4,500, depending on what part of the country you live in. Now, as far as coverage, there's two different options there, too. For the first one, uh, where you're just getting cremated, come home into a cardboard box or an urn, what we generally help people with is right around $5,000 to $7,000 worth of coverage. Now, you might be going, well, Randy, hold on, because you said cremation was $2,000, and now you're suggesting $5,000 worth of coverage. What's up with that? Well, what's up with that is our 74-year-old female probably wants to make it to age 84 and maybe even older, and we know that as time goes on, prices go up due to inflation. So what we actually do is we actually get the coverage now and get – get the lowest rates locked in at our youngest age right now. And then we get a little bit more insurance just to inflation proof the plan because we know prices will go up over time. So the great thing about doing that is, of course, the policy is inflation proof. But also, if earlier on in the policy, year one through five or six or seven, something like that, there's extra insurance in there built in to pay for any unexpected expenses like maybe medical bills or credit card bills or something like that, that if you'd had the gift of time and lived longer, you would have paid those off. So it works really great for most folks. We inflation-proof the plan in the long term, include a little bit of extra money in the short term just in case you die sooner and there's some extra bills. Now, the other cremation option is, of course, the one there's going to be some sort of a ceremony. Typically, we're helping people with that for probably right between 7000 to 10000 Again, we're inflation-proofing the plan in the long term, but also just providing some extra coverage on the front end just to make sure that if you do, don't live as long as anybody thought, there's extra money to pay for some of those unexpected bills. Now, if it's going to be a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into pretty much any funeral home in the United States with a $10,000 check, they should get that done. They should get that taken care of for you. But if, if, if they don't, you can always just walk out the front door and walk a couple blocks down the road to one of their competitors. And it's hard to imagine somebody wouldn't work with you on that. Now, the thing to keep in mind is $10,000 is the cost of what it is right now. So if that's all you could afford, maybe you're on a fixed or limited income, that's all you can afford right now, get that. That will take care of kind of the bare necessities right now. But just understand your policy is not inflation proofed at all. And you'll, you'll probably have to get some more coverage later. So what we would typically help a 74-year-old female with is typically between $10,000 to $15,000, sometimes twenty dollars or $25,000. It just really depends how elaborate things need to be. And then, like, you'd probably, you, well, not probably, you'd need more if there was, like, a body that needed to be transported out of state or something like that. So just get in touch with us. We can help you understand what your options are and really what the most um, kind of reasonable amount of coverage would be as well. Now, sometimes somebody will say, hey, you know, I want to take care of my final expenses for sure, but I'd also like to leave some money behind for the kids. And so we'll run them some rates. A lot of times they want $30,000, $50,000, whatever. 
But let's say it's fifty thousand dollars, and we run those rates for them, and they're on a fixed or limited income, right? Social Security or disability, and they go, oh, you know, a little taken aback on that because you know our female waited until age seventy four, so it is more expensive just because you're older. Should have got it earlier, right? But she didn't. And then sometimes uh, people will say, well, you know what? If I can't do everything I want, I'm not going to do anything at all. And we we just have to have a conversation with them and say, hey, you know what? You, you, you originally came to us and you wanted to make sure that your um, final expenses were taken care of. And then you just thought it wouldn't be nice to leave some extra money behind for the kids. I understand if it's expensive, but here's the deal. Why don't we do this? Why don't we get the final expense policy in place? Because we... We know you're going to die someday. There's no getting out of that. And then we can always follow up at a later time if some other money frees up and get that policy for the kids, but keep that separate. And most people are just thrilled with that option. It works really terrific. Keep in mind, though, you know, if money's kind of not as much of an object with you, we can wrap it all and do it all, do it all up as once at one time as well, too. So keep that in mind. Now, one of the things we always recommend getting is first day coverage or benefits. We never recommend those two-year waiting period plans. Now, we'll talk about that in a minute, but what first day coverage or benefits means, um, first day coverage is if you if you get approved and your policy is just issued today and you die tomorrow, the insurance company would pay out from the very first day. That's exactly the plan you want to get. You do not want a plan that's got a two-year waiting period. Now, some people will say, now, some people will say, well, Randy, I, I, I do like that first day coverage, but I know they ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health and I'm worried I might not qualify. To which we always say, hey, that's our responsibility, not your responsibility, at least from an insurance standpoint. And the reason we say that is we work with a lot of different insurance companies and they all have different underwriting requirements and they all ask different health questions. And right now we're getting around 90 to 95 percent of the time we're able to get people approved for first day coverage or benefits. We're really terrific at what we do. Really the only reason we wouldn't be able to get your first day coverage is if you waited too long and you had some, you know, um, you just had some kind of significant health issues going on. Like maybe you had a terminal illness and you're gonna pass away in the next 12 months, or you had dementia or you're on dialysis or in a hospital or in a nursing home. If that were the case, we'd typically refer you out to a different insurance company. The other thing that seems to happen every week is somebody will call us up and say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week and they didn't have insurance and we don't have any money. Their body's down at the funeral home and the funeral home director is not going to do anything until we put a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so we can get a check in our hand to pay the funeral insurance, the funeral home guy. And we, we just have to let them know that there is there is no insurance company in the United States that's going to approve a policy for somebody who's already dead. You have to get this insurance before <laughs> before you're dead. You got to get this insurance while you're alive. And it's really sad that they lost a family member. And it's even more sad that their, their family member didn't care enough about them to have this insurance in place. And now they've got to deal with this burden. And it's, uh, you know, they knew they were going to die th at some point. They probably looked at this insurance and they thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, never did anything. And then one day they just done went and died. Now, their family members have to pay for this. And a lot of times they're going to have to put it on a credit card, pay 26% interest. And uh, it's going to take them years and years to pay off. And what a terrible burden to leave behind for other people. Make other people pay for a responsibility that was yours to pay for. So there's really no excuse for it. Just get this insurance. We, we can help you make sure it's affordable. If you need to get the minimum amount, we can always help you add more coverage later. Now, the one thing we don't recommend is those plans with two-year waiting periods. And Colonial Pen's a fairly well-known company. I mean, you see them on TV all the time with that 995 commercial. Seems like that's playing every seven minutes. But you may not know this, but that 995 plan, that's a two-year waiting period plan. And you should avoid that thing like the plague if you qualify for first aid coverage. That's what a lot of people would say anyway. We tend to agree with that because you'll overpay by going with a two-year waiting period. Now, uh, you know, our 74-year-old our, our female probably just got done watching one of those Colonial Pen TV commercials for $9.95 insurance, and she probably thinks she's going to get $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, maybe even $50,000 for only $9.95. And then our 74-year-old female 
calls Colonial Pen, talks with one of their agents, or goes online on their website, like we've done for you here, and she sees that one unit of coverage for a 74-year-old female for $9.95 is only going to provide $802 worth of coverage. So, mm, you know, $802 is not going to be enough to cover a cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn in any part of the country we know, much less one with a service or a burial. So what good does $9.95 with an insurance do for you if it doesn't pay for hardly anything? Now, some people would say that there's some companies out there that offer these low, these super low teaser rates. And they're meant just to get your attention and get your information so they can get you in their marketing funnel. And then when they get you on the phone, they'll gladly show you that lowest amount of coverage, $9.95 for that measly amount of coverage. But some would say that they don't even want to sell you that small plan. What they actually want to do is they'll say, oh, that small amount of coverage is not going to be enough. You need more coverage. And they will upsell you into more expensive coverage that's much more profitable for the insurance company. Now, we would never say Colonial Pen would do anything like that, but I would imagine there's some people that feel that's the case out there. You'll have to make your own determination by just saying, hey, is $802 gonna do me any good? And does the 995 do any good if it only gets 802? So yeah, you can make that decision. Now, Colonial Pen, you know, of course this video is about $25,000. So we're going to run into a challenge here that Colonial Pen, they all, they max out at 15 units. So let's see what that would be. So 15 units, you can only get $12,000 roughly through Colonial Pen. And it's going to be 150 bucks. So that you, you can't even get there halfway. You know, that's 24,000. We're looking at 25,000, right? So you can't even get halfway to where you really need if you want 25,000. So let's do this. Let's look at first day coverage. Let's go do that right now. Here we go. So here we go. We've got 25,000 for a female, age 74. And let's click get quote right there. We're gonna go back and look at this. This is again, 12,000 for 150. Here we go. Let's look here. I wanna show you this because this is gonna be a surprise to you. Perhaps $25,000, female, age 74. 25,000 is going to be right at around $162. This is level coverage. That means first day coverage. So what would you rather have? Would you rather have $25,000 of first day coverage for $162? Or would you rather have $12,000 of two year waiting period for $150? Really, um, think about that, right around 150 bucks. So let's see, it's gonna be, so you're gonna get for this one here, an extra roughly $12, you're going to get roughly an extra $13,000 worth of insurance. This is the reason we tell you, you should never, never, <laughs> never accept a two-year waiting period plan when you qualify for first day coverage. And here's the deal. You know, you get, you're, you're going to pay this for the rest of your life. Why wouldn't you want to get double the coverage? We, we pretty much see consistently with Colonial Pen that, um, that, uh, you know, it's pretty much 200% more expensive, plus or minus, than first day coverage. So why wouldn't you ever want, like, twice the coverage? Let's look at a couple other plans here real quick. Uh, we're 162 there. Uh, take a look here. You'll be able to see all these different insurance companies. Well, here's one, Lumico. I mean, level, first day coverage, but the, like $200. $200. So that's, I'm just going to go round numbers. That's roughly $40 more a month quite a bit actually. So $40 a month times 12 months, that's an extra $480 a year. If our 74 year old female is the 84, you would overpay right around $4,800 more. So why would you ever start out with a plan that you know in 10 years you would overpay by almost $5,000? Why would you ever do that? We recommend you keep that money in your own pocket Keep that money in your own bank account rather than give it to an insurance company. If you were walking on the sidewalk and, and you had your wallet and you had like 4,800 bucks in it, 
would you ever just pull out your wallet and throw it on the sidewalk and keep walking and let other people pick that up? No, of course you wouldn't. Why would you do the equivalent with an insurance company and just throw money away? Don't do that. Lock in that first day coverage, get the lowest rates. We can help you be a smart consumer and do that. Let's look at something else here. Well, here's one, uh, Lincoln Heritage. Uh, fine company, I guess, but holy guacamole, look at that pricing, almost $240. It is level coverage, but uh, $240, why is that so expensive? Well, the deal is they've got a deal where, you know, if you, not if you, when you pass away, because everybody's going to die, when you pass away, they will supposedly call two or three funeral homes to get you the lowest pricing. They um, may do a couple other things too, but they don't do that for free. They charge for it. Yeah, they do. This is roughly $240 versus $240 versus $163. Let's do the math on that with uh, Lincoln Heritage. You're going to overpay on a monthly basis right around $77 a month, roundabout. So let's do the math on that. $77 a month times 12 months, you would end up overpaying right around $924 a year. And if our 74-year-old female makes it to age 84, 10 years, you have overpaid roughly $9,240 versus going with the lowest price insurance company. Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever transfer almost, <laughs> almost $9,240 roughly of wealth from your bank account to another insurance company's bank account when you didn't have to. You could have so much fun for over $9,000 with your own family, create your own memories, rather than giving that money to an insurance company. So we don't recommend you do that. We recommend you allow us to help you get the lowest pricing. And then what we actually do is we've got a free funeral and estate planning guide. And you can download that off our website. It is totally free. When you download it, print it out. Once it's printed out, fill it out. Write down who gets what, what goes where, and what you want done after you're gone. And then keep that with your insurance policy. And that way, when you pass away, all the documents are in one place. Your family members will go there. And they'll know that you not only loved and protected them financially with the insurance, but you loved and protected them emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide. And all they'll need to do is open that funeral and estate planning guide and start reading it. And all they'll have to do is just do what you said, execute your wishes. I don't know that you not only loved and protected them in life, but you loved and protected them in death that one last time, exactly when they would need it the most when you weren't here, but you will have taken care of this in advance. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. If you want to leave a legacy by, behind like that, just reach out to us at Funeral Funds of America and um, special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And you can get the best companies at the lowest rates with the most discounts. Take full advantage of that. You can be a smarter consumer. And then uh, you can call us at 888-862-9456. And one of our agents can help you understand what you qualify for. So if you have an existing policy and you want us to price shop it to make sure you got the, the lowest pricing or you just want to add coverage to that policy, we can help you out with that. If you need a brand new policy or just want help or information finding out what might most be appropriate, we can help you out with that. But we look forward to that day where we can get you the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. We will be blessed to help you with this at some point in the future. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.